last season. What was the highlight for you? I think personally the highlight for me was being able to stay consistent every single game. I made sure that was a top priority because last season was one of the hardest seasons I think all athletes have ever gone through, mental health wise, um, phys physicality wise, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, consistency is key, always. Is it difficult in any way to have that quick turnaround thinking about mental, physical health from spring to fall because that's not much time? Um, 100%, 100%, but I think having that time to just keep going you know, and being like, you know what, this is what I'm here for, that we're definitely going to use that to our advantage. Give me a little scouting report. You're in the back line all the time, so you watch the offense a lot go to work. Barbara Castellanos, Gigi Sagoon, they both racked up some goals at the end of the season. When you're back there, what do you see from those types of players? What I see from those type of players is their drive. You know, I think that's super important. When they get the ball, they want to do something about it. And I think that's what we need up there, for sure. Coach Costa talked about the growth behind you of Stella Chiara Dia. How did you see her grow throughout the season? Um, I think at the start of the season, she was obviously very nervous. I mean, you're coming as, in as a freshman, you're at a D1 program, going against all these girls that are, you know, all sorts of ages, all sorts of heights, sizes. Um, I think that she really grew into the person that she is now, definitely during this last COVID season especially. How did you grow? Oh, I, <laughs> I grew a lot for sure. Um, mentally, physically, all in the best ways, all in the best ways. What about playing in SeatGeek Stadium? It's something you get to do again. I mean, no doubt the biggest, best home stadium yeah. in the WAC. How much of a joy right. is it to play there? Um, Honestly, I'm just, I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful. Um, I don't think, I think anybody would die to do, you know, play in a, a stadium like that. So I think that's really awesome that we get to do that. I'm going to ask you the same thing I asked Coach Costa. Describe this team using a food. Okay. <laughs> um, mm, I'm going to go with one of my favorite foods, and that's seaweed salad. And I say that because we're a little, we're a little slimy. We're gonna get a little, we're getting a little tricky in here. Is what I'm saying. A little slimy. A little slimy. The slimy cougars. Yep. It's got a nice ring to it. It does have a nice ring to it, doesn't it? So, given your wax schedule, I know you circled UTRGV. Mm -hmm. Can you outline a tangible goal you have for this team in terms of? Performance output? Putting the ball in the back of the net. Yep. And to possess. Play soccer. That's what we want to do. Just do Play your thing. Play soccer. Yep. And then last question for you. Right before the first kickoff, the first game, you're a senior, you're captain, you're back at it. What do you envision running around in your head? One last ride, baby. We're going to get it. We're going to do our stuff, and we're going to get the job done. Thank you. Thank you.